All right, check this out. This one application lets me put my favorite applications as a notification on my notification tray and I can open any app directly from this notification tray without even opening my app drawer. Not only that, but you can also pin other contacts and websites in your notification tray through this application and I can't believe how much more productive it has made me because it is such a simple thing but it is so useful once you get used to it. The name of this application guys is Noti and once you open it up, you can create a new notification where you can select different applications, contacts and even web page links for easy access right from your notification drawer. This is a really cool app and today I have 9 more such amazing applications for you. So I think you guys better hit on that like and on that subscribe button. Yo what's up guys, Anubhav here. Welcome back to the top Android applications for the month of May 2025. With that said, let's not waste any more time and head over to app number 2. Most of us now are on 5G packs as well as unlimited Wi-Fi whether it is our workspace or it is at our home. But if you are one of those people who like to keep a track of how much data you are using or you're on a per GB data pack like me where I can only use up to 2 gigabytes or 1.5 gigabytes per day, then this application called Data Monitor is a very very stylish way to actually keep track of how much data you are using. Once you open up the application, it gives you a proper graph like view of all the data that you have been using separately on your mobile network as well as your Wi-Fi. Clicking on either one of these is going to open up more detailed statistics about where the data was being used whether it was on third-party app or on a system app and inside system apps also you can see the per app usage of the data to basically dial down what is that app that is taking all of your data. Spoiler alert I know it's either going to be YouTube or Instagram like it is for me for most of you guys out there but 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 this I still feel is like a more proactive way to actually consciously see how much data we end up using when we are mindlessly doom scrolling on our phone and I think this is a great app in the way it looks also because it looks very clean very minimal be sure to check this out I think it will be really useful for most of us who are always on our phones the entire day check out this home screen that I have full of nothing OS themed widgets that's right this is a really cool application with some very heavy duty widgets that not only show me the sunrise sunset counter but also give me my internet speed as well as a note section and two live functional widgets that show my battery indicator as well as my CPU usage. Now this is a really cool app guys called Widgets Pro which is a completely free application that lets you get these amazing nothing style widgets and many more that you can place on your home screen. There is no need to install any KWGT or anything else like that. Just open the app, hit on the add button on the widget that you like and boom the widget will be placed on your home screen. Now just a quick disclaimer, two widgets in this application, the CPU and the battery widget will actually need access from Shizuku and in case you guys don't know about it, I will touch a little bit on it at the end but other than that it is a very solid application filled with amazing widgets that will really take your home screen to the next level, make sure to check it out. Okay after Widgets Pro guys we have a tool application that I recently discovered that is absolutely bonkers. This is called Curio Mate and it has so many useful tools that you could use on your phone. It is absolutely endless. You've got many categories from productivity with cool stuff like to-do list and Pomodoro timers to utilities where you can literally generate a QR code, use a leveling tool, open up a compass on your phone and then you can also move on to calculators and converters where there is a tip calculator, a discount calculator, an age calculator and of course because it has so many categories you have a lot of tools like PDF generator as well as file compressor and it just keeps on going across more and more categories. Overall, this is literally one of those apps that I would suggest every one of you to install and once you have it, I am sure you will always find a use because it has so many tools at the same place. The only caveat of this application which might put a little bit of you off is the fact that it is paid. However, don't get sad just yet. I spoke to the developer and got you guys 50 promo codes that I will be announcing on my Instagram stories. So if you want one of those promo codes, and 
get this app for free, make sure to like this video, make sure to hit on that subscribe button and do not forget to follow me on Instagram at the handle below. Okay, so if you're a person who wants to multitask all the time and even do something as crazy as listening to a song in your music streaming app and also watching a YouTube video at the same time, I mean, why are you doing that? But in, in case you want to, I have you covered. This next application is called Volume Manager and it actually lets you adjust the volume of separate applications on a app by app basis. It is really cool and once you set it up, you can basically play as many streams of audio from your phone at the same time, individually control the volume. So let's say if you want to watch a YouTube video at higher volume with some music playing in the background at a lower volume, you can do that. Basically configure all the volume streams of different apps and play them at the same time. Now, just FYI, this app also needs Shizuku to be able to work. But don't worry, I'll show you guys how to activate Shizuku to make sure these applications work at the end of the video. All right, moving on, guys, we have an amazing application for all of you that really like to watch movies and new TV shows. This application is called Cine Swipe and it brings a familiar dating like layout to find out new movies and TV shows that you might like. So the first time you install the application, you have to fill in a questionnaire about movies that you've watched before and that you like so that the app gets an idea of what kind of movies to suggest you. After that, you open up the application, go to this card swipe section and basically you can select movies that you want to add to your watch list or movies that you don't like with a simple left or right swipe. And if you like the recommendation, you can put it either into a watch list where you want to watch it or into a watched list. I know the naming can get a little confusing, but the watched list is basically a list where you put the movies that you've already watched. It also shows you different clips of different movies in a YouTube short style feed. I think a great app if you're struggling what you want to watch, whether it is movies or TV shows, be sure to check it out. Next up guys, we've got a really simple calculator application that has many complex calculator things inside it. It's called Pocket Calc and it is very cool. Once you open the app up, you will find different kinds of calculators based in it. Now, most of you who are watching from India, you will find more tools that are created for people like us who are living in this country. So literally from something as basic as an EMI calculator to stuff more complex like stock average calculator, mutual fund returns calculator to literally plans that we have in the country like a national savings certificate tracker. This app does it all, looks good while doing it. I'm a big fan of the design and the fonts that have been used and also again does not bombard you with ads. So if you need a calculator to calculate these kind of things like your finances, your EMIs, your investments and different programs from the government, then I think this is a very cool app. Be sure to check it out. All right, the next app is going to help you track the prices of the products that you've been wanting to buy, but you're waiting for them to get the best discounts. This application is called Any Tracker, guys. And not only does it look great with modern material design UI, it also lets you track literally anything from any other application. So once you open up the app, you can track different things. You can manually track something. You can track something social like your follower count or your subscriber count. You can track the pricing of a product. Let's say you want to buy something on Amazon. Just share the link to this application. Click on the figure that you want to track and now it is going to show you when the price goes down, goes up so you can buy it at the best time. I was looking for a tracking app like this that lets me track random stuff of the internet and I finally found one which looks good, performs well and doesn't bombard you with ads. So make sure to check it out. Insta Archiver is the next app on today's list that lets you download any Instagram video or post directly by just sharing it. It works really well if you want to keep a track of different things that you see on Instagram, whether it is things that you want to buy or your own photos and videos in case you've deleted them. Simply open up the post that you would like to archive to your device, hit on the share button, select this application and it's going to quickly scan and add it to the app. Once it is added to the app, tap on it and then you can download it and save it to your gallery. It is super fast, no nonsense and works really well. Be sure to check it out. All right, guys, the last app in today's list is, of course, Shizuku, which obviously you guys will have to set up properly if you guys want a couple of apps on today's list to work well on your device. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Shizuku, think of it like an application that gives superpowers to your Android phone without actually rooting it so that you can do more and basically use more fun applications. Now, to get Shizuku up and running on your device, all you have to do is go to settings and make sure USB debugging is turned on under developer options. If you don't know how to turn that on, first of all, go to software information, tap on the build number seven times till developer options is unlocked. And from there, turn on USB debugging and wireless debugging. After that is on, make sure to 
hit on wireless debugging through pairing code and after you set that option up, open Shizuku, just hit on the start button and Shizuku will be up and running. Now you have to give access to the applications to make sure that they work well and can access Shizuku. So open it up, go to authorize applications and simply turn this on for the apps that you want to give access to. There are many other Shizuku apps as well that let you get some amazing features on your Android device. So if you would like me to make a video about just that, let me know in the comments as well. And with that said, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope that this list of applications gives you guys something to play around with and have fun with till the next video comes, of course, next month. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, this is Anupav signing out. I will see you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Take care, stay safe and peace out. Bye-bye now. Thank you.